What's up, Pisces? This is Aquarius Roberts, Tarot God. Back at it again on the Peace Dealer channel, bringing you your July monthly forecast. So I hope you guys are having a good time. I actually was already shuffling before, because I, uh, I was really thinking hard on you guys, because I feel like new, op new opportunity is on your way. It's like, um, there's like this breakthrough, but it's breakthrough of our opposition and poverty and just going through things and just kind of seeing the world as a better place. You know what I mean? So your shadow card is the six of wands. So already from the door, you guys are overcoming. I feel like you're overcoming hardships hard times, people not believing in what you can accomplish, you know what I mean, or believing in the things that you could do. Obviously, there's some outsiders that kind of are naysayers in your situation, and um, they're, they're highly critical about you. And so it's time for you to get your one up on everyone. And, I, and, and this is a fire card. The six of ones is a fire card. So, um, it's funny because to give a little background on this, it's like this actually shows, um, this depicts, let's put it like that, um, Jesus riding in on the horse to his death, right? But his death was not truly a death. It was supposed to be a, um, um, a, a blessing of love right? It's like the ultimate version of love is to be able to give, give of yourself to others without expecting anything in return, but more love, right? And so it's basically saying there's the overcoming of that. It's, the, it's, it's a victorious ride through, right? Because you're headed somewhere. You're headed somewhere, there's movement going on. You're not stalemated or anything in the situation anymore. And there's movement going on. So you could possibly get a job. If you've been out of a job, you possibly might run into one in July. You know what I mean? Um, if you've been, if, if people have been telling you like, hey, you can't, you can't, you can't, you got ideas and you can't do these ideas. These ain't you. Well, maybe you'll overcome that and show and prove. I, I really think this card is like a show and prove card. It's like, I have the willpower to overcome anything and I'm not scared of you or anybody around me who's telling me opposite, right? So your first card is the nine of cups. So the nine of cups is your first card is saying your emotional wishes are, you're looking at your emotional wishes right now, the things that you want to inspire to do. And it's time to do it. It's time. It's time to get things accomplished. But these are cup cards. So this is the wish card. So it's like, this is a month of your wishes being fulfilled in July, emotional wishes. Whatever you emotionally want, you can have this month. So let's see what's crossing you. The crossing card is the nine of wands. Hmm. So this is your material environment and this just shows uh, a bit of weariness going on. So I'm seeing that you guys are a bit weary. Um, maybe you've been through a lot of trials and tribulations and ups and downs and upheavals and things like that. And people leaving your life and new people coming in to help you out. You know what I mean? And it's like, these things are very important for you right now because you're needed because you're the most compassionate sign. So the most compassionate sign needs compassion too when they're being compassionate to everyone else. So I just feel like if that's your emotional wish is to have more compassion within your life, I feel like these things are going to happen. So being that this card is crossing you though, it, it, it basically speaks about defensiveness. So it's basically speaking, you can't get what you want if you're defensive about everything. If you feel like people are coming after you, y'all might feel like that a little bit. Y'all might feel like people don't really care and they're coming after you and they're trying to hurt you and all these thoughts, right? 
And so it's a bit of weariness because your mental is being worn down by this. And it's like, let go, let go of that. That is not helping you at all. You know what I mean? You cannot progress forward in life and get your biggest dreams fulfilled if you're being defensive about everything. Your third card is the Knight of Cups. So speaking of that, this is a water card. So this could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So I want to say in your situation, this could be about a, a person who's dreamy and kind of a lover. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who is who was in your life and they were dreamy and a lover and really romantic. And then as, as they came, they left too. Um, and or because this is general, so or this could be a faucet of yourself. This could be that you got dreams and that you got hopes and you got things that you want to aspire to do and you're ready to go on that journey. You know what I mean? The Six of Wands is in here and the Knight of Cups is in here and they're both riding horses. So this is about coming to emotional victory, an emotional victory, because you, you guys aren't really materialistic. You guys are spiritual and you're free. You're free spirited. You know what I mean? So any victory for you would be an emotional victory. So I'm almost feeling like you're headed on this emotional journey uh, and trying to find the creativity within yourself, the emotional creativity within yourself to try again to come out of this defensiveness. You know what I mean? Because that defensiveness is going to wear you down. So I almost feel like a message of love is coming to you. Um, or a message of creativity or understanding or just somebody who understands you where you needed help. You know what I mean? So in the past position is the Ace of Swords. And so the Ace of Swords in the past position is basically telling me that y'all had to use your right mind at some point in time. You had to make a decision. And this decision was the right decision for you and every el everybody else involved in the situation. Maybe you had to let somebody go and you was like, okay, I'm just going to let them go. Like if they come back, they do. If they don't, they don't. Oh, well, I ain't got time for that. You know what I mean? It's about me right now and what I want. I want to fulfill my emotions. So I see this emphasis on what needs being fulfilled, especially this is cancer season. So needs, emotional needs being fulfilled and going after your deepest desires. In the mental, we have the page of cups. So this is also a water sign. So this could be y'all guys too. So I'm figuratively speaking, thinking this is more about you guys. You know what I mean? Uh, in general, you Pisces in general, because we got two Pisces cards in here. You know what I mean? Two water cards. So this is about, you know, mentally the page of cups on your mind is either a message of love, a message of creativity, or a message of inspiration right? And so it's like being inspired to create more emotions. You know, maybe you've been, you've come out of time of being kind of cold, you know, and not so emotional and not really wanting to be compassionate towards others. You know what I mean? And just kind of not want to, you know, deal with the bull crap of other people and their stuff and things that they deal with. Just kind of focusing on yourself to now having a new energy to be able to do that. The, the new mental energy, because this card right here is like mental energy. You know what I mean? But it's coming from the divine. So it's like the divine is sending you something. The divine is sending you new emotions, new emotions that you can overthink this old situation and inspire new dreams and emotions and move on with your life. You know, because Pisces is a sign that we really, they really, you know, I have Neptune first house and my fourth house ruler is Pisces. My fourth house is Pisces ruled, you know what I mean? So I have emotions of a Pisces, you know what I mean? Uh, and my identity is like a Pisces. So I understand what it feels like to go through so much and be walked on and, you know what I mean, to be used and not understood and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And it's like, it gets you to a point where it's almost like you don't believe in people anymore, you know what I mean? But there's the universe now saying, wait, 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 it's not over with yet. There's still more to come. You know what I mean? And so the universe is handing you this new inspiration to be revived again. You know what I mean? And, and, and to take action and take responsibility for your emotions. 
That's what I'm feeling. The, the just, this is a sword of justice. So this is taking responsibility, you know, in a situation. So in the near future, we have the two of swords. And so in the sixth position, two, six, and eight, two, six equals eight. So eight is the number of Saturn, right? And so it's like Saturn puts you in a position where you have to cut it off. You know, it's like where you if you were emotionally overwhelming or emotionally overwhelmed, let's put it like that, um, there's it's almost like you throwing away those emotions, kind of like I just don't want to deal with that right now, so I'm gonna move forward. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep thinking or pondering or giving this energy. You know what I mean? It's time to move forward and think about something new. You know what I mean? So in the seventh position. Uh, this is the world in the self position, self position, seven position. This is the world. So the world in the self position is saying like you guys are ready to feel complete. You, you completed a cycle, um, an emotional cycle, and it's time for new things now. It's time for new happiness, new moments, you know what I mean? Uh, new emotional opportunities. In the eighth position, we have the eight of wands. So the eight of wands in your environment is basically telling me that you guys are, things are happening. You know what I mean? Either there's love coming into your life and it's very gratifying. They're making promises and commitments to you and they're telling you, hey, I want a future with you. I want to do things with you. I want to be with you. Also, this could be you making communications. This is a card of communications happening. And so it's like, you don't know where things are going to go, but you're trying new things out. You know what I mean? You don't know what's going to happen in a situation with business, but you're going to try it out. You know what I mean? So it's like not being afraid to try something new and not clinging on to the past and letting go. You know what I mean? In your ninth position, in the heart, is the four of swords so in the heart it's like you guys had to take a mental break okay maybe some stuff was happening that it was conflictual with your heart and you didn't enjoy it you didn't like it and so you had to take a break you had to rest you know what i mean because this whatever this was was it was overwhelming you know what i mean and so you needed a rest but uh the 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 sword, there's three swords hanging on the wall that depict the three swords and the three of swords, right? With the, the swords piercing the heart. But here, um, the swords are hanging on the wall as a souvenir. This card is actually showing up in a lot of readings. So I'm just feeling like everybody's taking this mental break, you know, uh, emotionally right now because a lot of planets are retrograde. You know, actually your ruling planet is retrograde neptune is retrograde for uh, the next five months almost you know what i mean so it's like y'all are really looking back at the old emotional pain and conflicts and things that went on you know what i mean and trying to find better answers better resolve so that you can move forward in the final position oh yeah like this we got the page of wands so in the outcome of your situation in July, I'm seeing you guys opening up, being inspired, trying something new, you know, and just giving yourself the chance to be happy. And so that is your reading. I hope you guys enjoy and have a great month. Aquarius Roberts.